All right, guys, welcome back to Stuck on an Island where I'm stuck with you guys and we are always smiling. Yeah, I'm here today with cappuccino. This is not mocha today, this is cappuccino. Um, start of the year, I told myself that I want to give, no, do not kiss me. I told myself I want to give my dogs an equal share in life, just, you know, going by the river, taking them to the beach, stuff like that, you know, so that they have a full life. But anyway, in today's video, we're going to be doing, um, two dishes but there's going to end up to be one which is going to be uh, creamy mashed potato and um, crispy chicken tenders so I'm going to show you guys how to do both of those um, in today's dish hopefully it turns out great and I hope you guys enjoy this video and remember if you like the content remember to just drop a like on the video I really appreciate it um, let's start off first with the creamy mashed potato all right so now we have our potatoes now to make a creamy potato there's a lot of things that come into play. For example, the kind of potato that it is. Now, for these potatoes, I don't even remember what they are. <laughs> but the important part is choosing between either a waxy or a starchy potato. If you want to have a very creamy potato, it's best to go with something that's more starchy. Can you help me, cuz? Tell me what kind of potato this is. I don't know. You don't know. Either. 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 Anyway, it doesn't matter. So, yeah, first thing we're gonna do is to, um, of course, peel it, and that's simple. Alright, now when your potato is done, you're going to put it into some cold water, alright? The reason why you do that is that it doesn't um, discolor. Alright, so we're going to cut our potatoes into cubes, maybe like one inch cubes should be fine. Um, so that everything cooks uniformly. Of course you can, uh, when you're doing the potatoes, you can leave the skin on. But you're not going to get a very smooth potato. Make sense? Pop it back into cold water. And then that will basically be the whole deal for you. Yeah? So we're going to pour some cool spring water in and we're not going to boil the water, we're going to put the potatoes in it at this temperature. Alright, you see that the water is still cold, put it on at that temperature, throw some salt in so that way the flavors can gradually build and it's going to help to keep the potatoes to be Really soft and nice. Alright, so the potatoes are basically done because once you can 
break into it easily. Like, I can already mash this already with a knife, so it's done. So, there's really hot. We're gonna work on building our sauce. So I have some heavy cream. Then drop our roasted garlic in. And our time. I'm gonna add some water to that. And then we're gonna let that simmer. And this is gonna have a nice flavor which will strain and use that with the potatoes So apart from having good starchy potatoes to start out with, this here is just a major key. Sifting it through is going to create like less lumps, so it's a lot of fine, well strained through particles. So it's going to make an even smoother potato than using just your fork or just, you know, a potato mash or so. Look at that. Already nice and creamy. So but. Gradually fold in the butter. Yep. Press that. Mm -hmm. Fold in, I think. As in, like, literally fold it. Like, it. Now our heavy cream sauce, I'm going to gradually fold it in again. Come <laughs> when it says fold, this is what it means. Over, like a fold paper. Because you're not trying to really mash it in too much because if you're mashing the potatoes too much it starts getting waxy. If you over do it right. And then I can add the rest. Of the sauce to it. Smell the garlic. Oh my gosh. Roasted garlic on that is so good. Now I can fold in the rest. A potato this good <laughs> doesn't even need a gravy. Huh? So now it's a fold, that's how we do it. I'm gonna get it 
it nice and small with all the butter and the cream incorporated into it and until you see no more on the edges and then yeah we're done Alright guys, so that's the end of it. There we have the mashed potatoes and our crispy chicken tenders. Yo, it's time to eat. Let's do it guys. Tell me what you think, bro. Mm. <laughs> That's some crispy chicken tenders. I'm juicy. Mm -hmm. How about the sausage tenders? Good? Really good. Alright, so let's try one of these tenders. I know what they taste like already because I cook this all the time. <laughs> I've never had it with this sauce before, but this sauce is banging, bro. All right, I'm gonna try some of the potatoes really quick. Look at that. Got some black pepper, some thyme. Heavy cream sauce with the garlic and chicken. <laughs> you don't need that for this. So good, look at that. Tender, juicy. Mm. So good. Work for the camera, Kappa. Yes, boy. Good job. Work for the camera. That's it. Work it. Work it. <laughs> what is this? Uh, I was told that they got five, five, um, three bush. Yeah. yeah. Put them all as one. Yeah. Rub it on any wasps, wasps sting. Yeah, my cousin got stung by a wasp on his arm. <laughs> Where is it? Yeah. Oh, oh my yeah. gosh, bro. It's so yeah. so We were getting some fire sticks and yeah, we got him. There was like a nest or something like that. What, what did you do out there? <laughs> I ran. Walk around. No. <laughs> this dude, he walked where? <laughs> I know <coughs> first thing, I yeah. know, I know, I know what, they, what they, they, this thing do. I mean, know, yeah, but the skin don't really work good with it. So, so you ever try this fire bush thing before they work? Never, I mean, I just hear about it, so I just go. <laughs> Let's see if it works, I guess. <laughs> Drop in the comments if you've ever heard about this bull, a fire bush. <laughs> Feels natural. <laughs> Oh, I don't even mind over my time, but literally my hand is going down, brother. Really? Well, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Work. Dark. 
No, no, he actually, he actually, my hand actually feels. He's actually trying on for true. That's so weird. That's so weird. <laughs> <laughs> that's so weird. Yeah, that's so weird. Yeah, that's so weird. Yeah, that's so weird. All right, guys. So those potatoes were really good, really soft, nice. I really enjoyed it. And um, even though it was a very stressful day, we got through it. Um, cooking by the river again, as I tell people all the time, it's a bit of a work. But if I can do it here by the river, you guys can definitely do this for at home for your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your family, your grandma, whatever the case is. Try a new dish, make adjustments to it for yourself, and just enjoy cooking. But anyway guys, remember these three things, love, nature, adaptation, and always remember, keep the link. Alright guys, I take it back. It's not a bowl. <laughs> like, legit. His hand looks like it has definitely gone down. We can't sell this, man. Hmm? We can't sell this. <laughs> <laughs>